Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Looks like we got another Three Floyds beer here today. This is Back Masking and it's an oatmeal stout. Uh, this one comes in at 5.9%. So this is not a great big beer. Uh, this one can be enjoyed right off the bat. You don't have to worry about it being boozy or, or cellaring in it for a while. This is, a, this is a daily drinker, if you will. Uh, at 5.9%, this one should be a tasty, I don't know what I want to call it, a session beer, but it's a tasty everyday beer. So uh, uh, this one's not one of those 9 or 10 percenters. This one is a, is a lower ABV, and, and it's, it's, it is an oatmeal stout, not an imperial stout. So a low ABV, uh, brewed with oatmeal, and it's a stout, so uh, this is a this is a nice change up on the stout because a lot of the uh, craft brewers now seem to want to get bigger and bigger and bigger on their stouts and imperial stouts, and and before you know it, they're 12, 14, 15 uh, percent alcohol, and, and and you can't drink a lot of that. I mean, it's uh, it's going to knock you down pretty quick. So uh, a lot of alcohol in those type beers. So this is a, a definitely a daily drinker. Uh, if you can get your hands on it. I cannot get my hands on it unless somebody like Richard or Randy sends these things to me and and guys thanks a bunch. I do appreciate you sending those box of beers. I've not been disappointed with Three Floyds. I mean everything they do is, is top notch. Uh, have no qualms there other than I can't get the damn stuff here. So, And this one uh, actually has a date on the side of the bottle on this one too. Uh, so this is a fairly recent one. It's got uh, March and let me get my specs. March 25th, 2014 on this one, guys. So uh, this one's just a tad over a month old. Very fresh bottle uh, as, as it goes for somebody that can't get their beers here. And I've had this one a week or so. So uh, pretty fresh bottle. So Richard, Randy, thanks a bunch, guys, for sending those beers down. Uh, I see that they are dating the 12-ounce and the 22-ounces now. So... Uh, Guys, if you can get three Floyds, should be no qualms about seeing the date on the side of the bottle. It's written in yellow. Uh, it's a good thing. Thumbs up to those for uh, guys at three Floyds for finally doing that. Uh, this is a uh, 5.9, like I said, and the commercial description uh, describes what backmasking is. It's a noun, a recording technique in which a sound or a message is recorded backward onto the track that is meant to be played forward. So a lot of you older guys uh, or girls uh, that uh, was around back in the uh, 60s and 70s, uh, th there was a thing that uh, the Beatles did at one time and and uh, if you played it backward it said Paul is dead. But uh, there's been several other uh, artists that have uh, basically did that kind of stuff and put subliminal messages in one way or the other. But uh, that's basically what back masking is and they've named this beer after that technique. So over to the other commercial description is the same thing that I'll be using on this beer is 32 and the food pairings for this beer the cheese is the earthy camembert fontina and since it is a stout it goes well through chocolate dishes and the meat is shellfish smoked meat and i will add grilled meat to that and uh, and probably game uh, but uh, like i tell you guys all the time these are just suggestions i mean whatever you like to drink with your stout i mean uh, eat with your stout do it I mean, if, if you want to pour this over ice cream, by golly, do it. That's you know, If you want to have spaghetti with this, you want to have pizza with this, if you want to have an oatmeal cookie, man, 
do it. I mean, uh, these are just suggestions. So whatever you'd like to eat and drink with your stout, uh, do it. That's what I say. All right, guys. The uh, glass wire is pint back on the num t tumbler, the nonic, the mug, the stein, the side ale. Normally, I reserve the the uh, double glass for the bigger versions of this, but it is a stout. It's almost a six percenter, so I'm going to use a double glass just just to enhance those aromas. And a lot of people use this glass for everything. I mean, their IPAs, their pale ales, because it does enhance the aromas of those beers. It does. It really does. So, if you don't have a pint glass and you got this glass and you like drinking your beer out of that, I gotta do it. If you don't have this glass and all you have is a pint glass. And pour it in the pint glass. So we just uh, we just like to do the uh, the bigger beers and the darker beers in this type of glass to enhance the aromas. And the beer is not recommended for extended cellaring, being a lower ABV beer, but it's not a hop forward beer. So it's going to keep for just a little while. I don't know if I would keep this beer more than six, eight months, a year at the most. I can't think of anything unless it's a hop forward stout, which has a, a, a a substantial amount of hoppiness to it why you would not or not be able to cellar it but uh, knowing free floyds it probably is a little hop forward so which is a good thing to me i'm a hop head so that's all we need to talk about guys so let's pop the top on this 22 ouncer and get it in the glass oh big hiss on this bottle great big hiss on this bottle nice carbonation in the bottle Let's see what we got in the glass. We'll pour this semi-aggressive down the center. And look at that beer. Wow. Very nice. With that aggressive pour, about a finger and a half of head. Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah. Alright, over into the light, guys. It is pitch black. There is no light. Very typical of most stops. Uh, very dark. Very, uh, almost like used motor oil, which is a bad way to describe a beer. Nobody wants to drink mo used motor oil, but it's very dark. Uh, pitch black, there's no light coming through it. So, Looks very good in the glass. Looks very tasty in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Oh. Oh, a lot of chocolate in there. Roasted malt, chocolate, toffee, caramel. Maybe some candied sugar in there. Maybe a hint of some dark fruit, maybe dates, raisins, or figs. Wow, that smells wonderful. Uh, it's got a very sweet smell, too. I'm, not, I'm, I'm getting the chocolate, but I don't know if it's a sweeter chocolate or a bittersweet chocolate. We'll tell in the taste in just a second here. Wonderful aroma on this beer. Very roasty, chocolatey smelling on the nose. So let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Richard and Randy. Thank you, sir, for sending those box of Free Floyd's beers. When I opened that, when you told me you was going to send those beers, and I opened that box up and seen what I had, I was like a, I was like a little kid on Christmas. I'm going, wow, man. Free Floyd's beers, yay. Just wish I could get my hands on them around here. Here we go. smells sweeter than it tastes. The chocolate is definitely there. I mean, I've had beers that have chocolate written on the label that don't have this much chocolate in them. Mm. Awesome. Roasted malt, chocolate, caramel, toffee, a hint of dark fruit. Did I say chocolate? Yeah, I mean the chocolate is very pronounced in this beer. It's like they throwed some chocolate into the secondary when they were brewing it. This is delicious. And this is a daily drinker. I mean if you can get your hands on this, this is only 5.9%, less than 6%. You could share this, or you could drink it all. You could have a couple of these and not, not be face down in the dirt. Wow, a lot of taste for a, a lower ABV uh, stout and an oatmeal. It's got a nice creamy, 
got a nice creamy mouthfeel. The oatmeal works well with this beer. Very well made beer. Very well made beer. Nice. Look at the lacing it's leaving on the glass. I said this once and I've said it probably ten times and how many times I've done three or four weeks beers. Very well made stuff. I mean, uh, they know what they're doing there. And, and, they, and, and, and I'm sure they're aware of that. I mean, everything they produce flies off the shelf. I mean, they were very reluctant for a long time to even date their stuff because it didn't sit on the shelves very long. And when anybody asked them about it, they were semi-arrogant about it. Like, why should we date it? It doesn't sit on the shelf. I mean, you can't argue with that philosophy, but guys like me are, are sticklers for dating beers. You know, I talk about it on just about every beer review, guys. But they did. They finally, they finally did. They started dating their uh, their their beers, the, the twelve ounces and the twenty two ounces. So uh, they did step up to the plate, uh, probably from uh, uh, pressure from everybody or just the willingness to, to finally do it. So reg regardless, it's a uh, it's, 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 it's a win-win for us. It's a win-win for them. Nobody's going to be buying any bad beer, if that's possible, from Three Floyds. But uh, guys like me uh, uh, really like when we see breweries step up to the plate and start doing that. Not just for their styles or their pails or their whatever, their IPAs. Uh, it's a good thing for, for every beer to know whether when it was put in the bottle or an enjoy by I like to know when it's put in the bottle. Let me let, let me decide when I want to enjoy it by. You tell me when you put it in the bottle and I'll make that decision to when I want to enjoy it by. So that's how it works with this guy. But anyway, without me rambling on, this is a pretty damn tasty beer. It's a oatmeal stout at 5.9% right out of the fridge at 40 degrees. So let's let it warm up. Let me share the other half of this 22 ounce with the other half. And We'll come back and do the final check on this one. A lot of chocolate in this beer. Really impressed with the taste in this beer. Especially for a low ABV style that you can drink every day. Or have more than one. I'll be right back guys. Stick around. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. Very tasty beer. Very tasty low ABV oatmeal stout. Where they're normally they're 8, 9, 10, 11% and even bigger. Uh, this is a daily drinker if you can get your hands on these beers from Three Floyd. Uh, this is their back masking. And I'll give you that explanation of what that is uh, when I uh, started the beer review. Oatmeal, roasted malt, chocolate, a little bit of dark fruit, not a lot. A nice hot presence, but not overpowering for the oatmeal stout that it is. So very well balanced. Uh, I'll be using a 32 on this beer, so not very bitter, very pleasant, very easy drinking, a nice way to finish up the evening. Cheers, everybody. Almost a hint of some uh, brown sugar. Or candied sugar in there. Not overly sweet, but just the right amount to make this a nice balanced oatmeal stout, guys. I enjoyed this one tremendously. Very tasty. Uh, date on the bottle on this one. Low ABV. Very tasty. A lot of chocolate notes in this beer. Wow. I loved it. Guys, this is a, this is a 9 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned. Uh, very tasty. Uh, I can't think of anything else other than sticking it in some bourbon barrels that would enhance this a little bit. So, uh, very nice. I enjoyed this one quite a bit, guys. Uh, if you can, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one whether you liked it or didn't like it. Let's go over to Beer Advocate first. Beer Advocate says 89 in a very good range. I think that number is considerably lower than what it should be. I think it fits the style well for an oatmeal stout and not to be an imperial stout on top of that. Very nice. Very sessionable. Uh, uh, a 22 ounce bomber where you can share some of this with somebody that you, uh, that you uh, like or love as in the case for me. The other half liked it pretty much. I did too. 
let's go over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer, and now these are numbers are more in line with what I'm talking about. Overall, it's 96 and 96 in the style. I would probably give this uh, somewhere between a 96 and a 98 myself. So, uh, numbers line up pretty well with the guys over there. So, uh, like I said, guys, if you've had this one from uh, Three Floyds, they're back masking oatmeal stout. Give me some comments back on this one. Let me know whether you liked it or didn't like it. Hit that like button while we're liking everything. And rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Over 11,000 subscribers, guys. I appreciate it a bunch. Uh, do appreciate the comments everybody puts on there. Uh, all the openers that we got the other day are basically gone. I had one red one left, and it's probably going to be gone by the time you see this one. So uh, uh, shoot me an email or let me know if I still got that one last red opener left. And if you, if I do, it's yours. If not, we're going to order another batch of them. We got plenty of t-shirts here left, guys. Small, all the way up to 3X. If you need one of them, give me a shout. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.